the kind of person, anything a doctor says, I'm ready to go. So I went and uh, meet with these other doctors from a different hospital and they did the biopsy. Um, he calls him back in the office and says, well, I think we might have to do a surgery or radiation. The first thing a man should do, or a couple, when he's diagnosed with prostate cancer is not to panic. Um, you really do have to understand the type and the gravity and the severity of the prostate cancer you have. I told Joan and she was like, no. And I'm like, but the doctor says, she's like, nope. When I was diagnosed, my daughter was in college. We made a decision not to tell her. Men typically have not been the ones to be open about talking about their health. The problem with prostate cancer, especially early prostate cancer, which is the most of what we diagnose nowadays, is that there aren't really any signs or symptoms of this disease. It's really a silent disease. We've been married 29 years. We like to travel. Me, I enjoy doing gardening having her as my supervisor because whatever That's I right. do, the boss is always <laughs> there to do um, the final decision. But uh, we do enjoy each other's company. There are definitely very aggressive types of prostate cancer that kill. They're bad. Um, but on the other end of the spectrum, there are very non-aggressive types of prostate cancer that a lot of times we don't even really need to treat for an entire man's lifetime. We can screen with exams we do to check the prostate, and blood tests called PSA. My PSA was above four. When your spouse is diagnosed with cancer, you as a wife needs to be the, the patient advocate because somebody has to be there because they're not hearing anything other than the word cancer. We know the majority of these low-risk prostate cancers won't kill somebody. They actually behave very indolent. So what's the downside to treatment? Well, the downside to treatment is you have side effects from treatment. Prostate is a very um, tucked away organ in the male pelvis. So it's surrounded by nerves that control sexual function in a man. It's surrounded by muscles that control urinary function, the bladder. So these things are affected when you treat prostate cancer. The side effects that, you know, um, could affect me mainly with my partner. And that was something that was, you know, of great concern to me. I spoke to someone that recommend um, Dr. Badani. And so now we have more tools to help us risk stratify these patients. And this is uh, a combination of advanced imaging and genomic testing. He told me, he's like, well, you know, I think you are the right candidate for this new testing. So one of the examples of a test that is used in that low risk setting is the Oncotype DX test, meant for the patient who's low risk who may be a good candidate for active surveillance. You can take the tumor cells from their biopsy that they've already had because that's how you diagnose prostate cancer and run a genomic analysis to see, hey, what's the biological behavior of this cancer? Then he got the results back and he called me in. The good news was he told me that there's really no need for surgery. There's no need for radiation. And he decided that we can take a different approach, which is the surveillance. The mental state of active surveillance in my patients is, is a very interesting thing. The initial reaction to a cancer diagnosis is fear. But to go from the fear that you have initially from the diagnosis to understanding that I can actually safely watch this and not have it out of me is a difficult step to take psychologically. You've got to actively monitor it with a combination of exams and blood tests and uh, genetic tests and scans. We do trust the genomic test, the biology of it, and it gives them a clearer understanding of what the cancer is doing. The genomic testing was proving to him that the cancer wasn't getting aggressive. I do not think about the cancer in itself. Um, I only think about it when I'm in his office. Um, Dad will be around mm -hmm. after graduation, mm -hmm. for weddings and things like that. As early diagnosis is important, ensure you and your loved ones are attending routine medical checkups. And if you are diagnosed with prostate cancer, find out more about how a genomic test can help determine your course of treatment by going to myprostatecancertreatment.org.